having a straight meltdown. He's having a straight meltdown, bro. He's snapping. Again, this is Camara. I mean, he's you know he's. Oh, 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 oh my God, Joe! I got too drunk on Christmas night. Oh shit, Joe! I got too drunk on Christmas night. I should have hung myself from the Christmas lights. I got too fucking drunk on Christmas night. Too fucking drunk on Christmas night. I should have hung myself from the Christmas lights. I got too fucking drunk on Christmas night. Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh my god, dude, Santa show. Runs me over with his goddamn sleigh. I should have, I should have got, I should have got drunk on Christmas. Who's ready for Christmas, everybody? Get grundled. Get bundled. <laughs> Get scared. Get scared. Get grundled. Shell, thank you. Holy shit, my favorite Christmas donation of $31. Trevor, good luck, man. It's surgery. Gum surgery. Oh, my God, man. Shit, that might happen to me someday with the way my teeth are going. Man, Shell, thank you. What's going on, Shell? How have you been feeling? I actually didn't bundle a thing today. Nobody got bundled today. I got bundled. <clears throat> I wasted my time today. I drove, I went 0-3 th today. 0-3 on the sales road today. And it was terrible. I'm negative $20 in gas and I didn't sell one thing. So I wasted 10 hours of my life today. Except for that actually was more money right there than I made all day. So that was great. Shell, thank you. What's up? Did you hear how mad that guy was? He was freaking out. This is the guy who was just playing. What's up, Shell? Anybody watch NXT? Listen to this guy freak out. On third and one, Jackson. <laughs> Dude, this guy became a woman right there. Watch it. This guy's balls just went into his like his ass. Listen to this. It's all because of Shell. 13 to nothing. On third and one, Jackson. That guy was freaking out. Look at this catch. Oh, he missed it. Watch this run. Look at this. Watch that. You look at how mad he must have been right here. Watch this. Look at this. Whoop. He just shit on me. I did shit on him right there. This guy quit, bro. Dude, he did. He squealed like a like a pig or something. It was weird. God, that was weird. That noise. That was uncomfortable to hear that noise. <laughs> I'll just show. What's up, Troy? Um, I'm gonna play some Halo Thursday night, for, uh, Wednesday night, tomorrow night, uh, Troy, and Thursday night. Uh, here's where he quits. <coughs> All right, here's my interception. Watch this. See, this just happened. I just got on the air, and this happened. All I have to do is be off the air, and I win. <coughs> Straight meltdown. Straight meltdown, brother. You hear him freaking out, dude? It's, it sounds like the meltdown I would have had if I had lost. Looking to throw again on second down. 
Intercepted again. That's where he quit right there. Anyway, I'm in a live game right now, guys. I'm back in another game for real. Now we're live. Now we're live, guys. What up, Troy? Troy, did you bang that chick yet or what? What's up with you? You better find that girl, bro. Everybody was saying that in the chat. They were like, whoa. Why is my phone? What's going on? Shell, thank you for that $31, Shell. Man, that feels somewhat good. I had a horrible day, man. <laughs> it was really bad. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be nice and be happy and positive, but oh my god, if 10 hours 10 hours for nothing. That's hard. Oh, intercepted. He's riding me. Picked off, bitches. Let's go. Oh, shit. He's already pausing it after one pick. Oh, my God. He quit, guys. Dude, that's two wins in a row in, like, three minutes. Holy shit. This guy quit after just a pick. Wow. What is he doing? Wow. Two wins in a row. At least this one was on cam, right? Wow. Let's go, guys. New Diablo season this Friday night. Friday, well, no, Friday, uh, December 11th, whatever that is. <clears throat> Wait, it's 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, tomorrow is 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah, it's going to be 10. So, de yeah, de December 10th. So, yeah, monetize this night will be Diablo. That's what will be happening. Um, okay, so that was pretty awesome. Two quits. Two quits. You know, we got we got both these guys to quit like before the end of the third quarter. So, before a third quarter at all. Yo, Troy. Troy, when are you visiting that chick, bro? What's going on? No, I think I got a kung fu that guy first. That guy? I thought the guy left. Oh, her current boyfriend or whatever she said. Nah, dude, that's not real. Come on. You don't get a kung fu nothing, bro. That's bullshit. That's some kind of front, dude. If you're not hanging out over her house in like t like two nights, you're fucking stupid. <clears throat> Starting to think you're gay, bro. Starting to think you're gay, Troy. I'm just, just going to say it right now. You know, that's it. It's, it's really, which is okay if you are, because I'd hook up with you. I'll leave Leah. Or maybe, maybe, um,. I don't know. You know what you should do is fuck her boyfriend. You should go bang her boyfriend and really fuck with her with her head, you know? She won't see that coming. You bang her boyfriend. And then when she's like, why'd you do that? You're like, because I wanted to bang you. I wanted to make you jealous. So I banged fucking Tanziga Kaomi or whatever. <laughs> Shell, thank you. That's a spicy meatball sack. Shell is the top donator right now. I mean, which is pretty awesome because we just started, so it's a pretty fire dono. Shell. Dude, that guy's voice was crazy. <laughs> like he's I can't even I'd have to be like seriously enraged, I think, to match whatever the voice was that that guy did. You know? You gotta smash it even if she turns out to be a he. Don't know about that plan, says Troy. <laughs> Even Leah said this, Troy. I told Leah about this, and she was like, you better get on that. <laughs> that chick from the other night wanted a splash of the Cronin Cran. <laughs> Did you see how quick Troy was like, you're married, remember? You're married, you're married. Like He was so defensive. That's how I know Troy's not gay, because he was like immediately like, "Yeah, but you're married with kids. You're married." You know, and he quickly like told her everything about me. That was crazy. So what the fuck? Why cock block if you're not gonna go? I'm the wingman, motherfucker. Don't you understand this? God damn it, Troy! Don't you know how this works? I'm the fucking wingman. I get her all wet with my accent, and then you go over there and you tell her you're from Boston, and then you so come on. Wow, this guy's got some fucking insane cards. Did you see this guy's cards? What the fuck was that? Dude, that was nuts. Did you guys see his cards? 
Well, what do you know? Crazy horse. We got ourselves a new member. Holy shit. And I got a member in my pants. Whoa. Yo, Crazy Horse, thank you for being a member again, dude. How many months in a row is it? We got the ball first. Hey, thanks to everybody who was donating to Jake last night. I gave him the money this morning, and uh, that was awesome, man. You guys were fire last night. That was crazy. That was super cool. Uh, coming up this week, I'm probably going to do another Ghostbusters, like an actual just single video review of the movie, what I thought. And then I'm probably going to do a Matrix one when that's out. That'll be fun. Oh. Oh, oh, he broke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, how about the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills? We really haven't talked about that yet. Dude, the Patriots threw the ball three times in the entire game. What is up with that? How did the Patriots... Dude, three times? The Patriots threw the ball three times. Might have to fact check that one. What are you talking about, Troy? Fact check what? Pass the puck, get scared, get bundled. How's Jake doing? Um, he's doing all right. It looks like he went out with the family the other day, but he's, you know, he looks very frail. You know, he's honestly, I got to be honest, he's actually trying to spend time with his family because he's so worried about how sick he is. And so I don't blame him, obviously. I, I just, you know, I think he actually really is spending time with his family, too. It's not just like a lie. It's not, he's not just saying that, like, I need to spend more time with my family. But then I'm going to actually oh, go live a bunch and shit on you. But no, he really is. I think he really is spending time with his family because he's really kind of scared about everything. Oh, look at that run. Oh. Holy shit. 7 a.m. Gamer, what's up? What's up, Awandi? What's up, Awandi? You get, what do you mean, blocker? Block a punt? <coughs> a block a punt. Fucking Awandi in the chat. I haven't seen you in the chat in forever. It's been up, Awandi. What made you come back to the chat? You must have thought Tommy and C was here or something. He lost a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. Play action, Jackson. Woo! Get down, bro. What is going on? Dude, what was that? Did you guys see that? What's up, Wandy? Oh, Wandy. Cocker? Oh, did I block you on Twitter, Wandy? Was that the real you that I blocked? What's up, Wandy? Did I block you again? Are you serious? I thought you were joking. Wow, I just ran backwards like an idiot. Wow, I just caught, I just, I, why did I do that? What's up, Nathan Rada? Nathan Rada, fucking old G. Oh, I went under his legs. <laughs> fucking whoop. Did you see that? Under the fucking legs, brother. Oh, shit. John. Here comes the rain again. Get wet. Sending love to everyone. <laughs> Here comes the rain again. Mickey K9. What up, dog? What up, Mickey K9? What's up? Sometime this week we'll get the wrestling talk out there. Ooh. Mickey K9, man. Thank you so much for. Oh, shit. Mickey K9. Okay, here we go. Everyone knows I'm out the window. Yep, yep. Oh. Yo, motherfucker. No romance because there ain't no. Chance in my happy pants. Could you put 
chance, come and take this dance And leave me here, I'm a bad motherfucker Got no fear What the time, what's the time, motherfucker? Time, motherfucker Put it in a happy rhyme, motherfucker I say it's Glock o'clock Bang, 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 tick tock Fucking suck, oil shock Two on Casimo, one in stock What's the time, motherfucker? Say Glock o'clock I say Glock o'clock JCS, JCS, woo. <laughs> what up, crazy? JCS, JCS. He's talking about the fucking S. Dollar song. Oh, no, I think he was just saying JCS. Woo! Yo, crazy horse. The $12. What up, crazy horse? If I get COVID, I love everybody. I don't feel so good. Every day I don't feel good, and I feel like I'm catching COVID. Remember when I didn't have to, it's like I, I stayed inside for a whole year without going anywhere almost. I'm bound to catch it now that I'm out, right? Woo! Let's hack someone. Let's hack someone. I'm going to hack myself. What's up, Mickey K9? No, hit him. Come on. How do you let him do that? I'm going to hack myself. I'm going to fucking hack myself. Rub one out. What up, Almighty? <laughs> Almighty wants to go on one of those active shooter things. I don't know why. He's been talking about it. I don't know why, though. Oh, fuck. This motherfucker's running on me with Barry Sanders. Yep. Yo, yo, guys, thank you for the donations. This is crazy the fuck is going on man there's only even 65 people watching we're getting dono bombed dono bombed i'm gonna have a christmas it's a christmas miracle turn the fucking lights off left to play till we hit halftime Fuck. Fuck, this guy just ran up my asshole, dude. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for. Finding the oh, he missed. Well. <coughs> what Cynthia? Trans. Chat, what's up? Shell is the top donation. $31 Christmas donation. I know I got to bring back It's Christmas Time with Leah. It's Christmas Time. We should go get that right now, actually. Can we get that? It's Christmas Time. to take the short field goal and the key phrase you nailed it forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort right Today, oh no I'm double coverage oh man I saved it though oh boy I mean at least I saved it but oh I found it oh no that's not it that's 12-12 I did not mean to throw that ball. Well, we're on a two-game winning streak right now, so we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Uh, Adam Cruz, what's up? Yeah, man, I did hear about Jeff Hardy's having, I mean, a lot of drinking problems. We've always known that. Must have gotten to the point where they had to do something though. Pretty crazy. Hang on to the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, I thought he would have caught that. What up, crazy? Let's see what the 1225 is. 
Bring back the 1225 donation. Here it is. All right, I'm going to get it. Shaw, I'm going to get it. I think. Xmas. Come on. How did I get stuck on someone like that? That sucks. I can't believe that. Well, we only got a few more seconds left in this quarter. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. Oh, no. You fucking fumble the ball. The Fuck off, dude, with this. Oh, my God, dude. I can't believe this. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas. That's not it. It's Christmas time. Gonna get the gifts. Santa's Christmas. on his way. I wanna make a porn. It's, it's Santa's day. There it is. I found it. <clears throat> All right, let's get this going. I'm going to lose this fucking game. This is going to be my first loss of the night. What the fuck if I don't do something? Giving this guy three points for nothing. Can't believe I did that. Just gave this guy three points. So here you go. Have three points. <laughs> you know? Ridiculous that I did that. All right, there's that. Um, condition. All right, so when you donate twelve dollars and twenty-five cents, the Christmas time donation is back, everybody, courtesy of Shell. And now he gets the ball at the half too. Oh my God, dude, this is a nightmare. Uh, what's up, everybody? Jeff Hardy and Jimmy Uso tag team The Brew Day. <laughs> they should get Raven on their team, too. This miserable ass. I fucking whiffed on it. Oh, my God, dude. I haven't lost tonight. Come on. What am I doing with this run game right now? guy's running all over me dude this could be my first loss tonight this could be the first loss for cocksucker Cronin I uh, <clears throat> Stopped him there at least. Let's go. Jeff Hardy on Steve Austin podcast. Remember that we made fun of it? Remember when I made fun of him? He's like, yeah, man, that's just me and Jeff back. Really glad to be back here in the WWE. Uh, we're just really happy to be going in. Listen, I'm going to get drunk and kill someone. How about that? That's what, they, that's what we're saying. They're looking like the Patriots from last night, yeah. 
Dude, that run touchdown, I almost came out of my life. I was, oh my God, dude, I almost popped out of my pants. Remember you kicked the court and messed the stream up after the Dolphins touchdown? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. I think we can do this tonight, though, guys. I really do. Hey, listen, I'm on a two-game win streak, so don't count me out. This guy might just quit right now and lose. Look at this. He's not even here right now. I'm on a two-game win streak. All he is for this guy's, this guy to have some kind of coronary or something. And the next thing you know, I'm winning this game, too. 15-3. I could win this game. Dude, this guy's taking all his timeouts. He's looking for his batteries right now. <clears throat> That's awesome. I'm going to get the donos rolling again in a minute. I got the Christmas tw 1225 back. Big run right there. We're not going to fucking go out like this, man. We're scoring a touchdown. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, my God. I did not mean that I double tapped A by accident. That was a full-on accident. God damn it. What's up, Antoine? Throw that away. That looked, everybody was covered. All right. Fuck. Guys, what am I doing right now? I really got a punt. I got a punt, man. I, I can't. I can't even complete a 10-yard pass here. I got to run it more. All right, this guy's been running it on me like crazy. Get bundled. How did that first guy miss the tackle? That computer should have tackled the shit out of him. I feel like. <laughs> What's up, Adam Cruz? Yeah, you got crazy vaccine rules. Oh, my God, I missed him. Dude, fuck this shit, dude. Dude, what the fuck is going on in this game right now? Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of Oh, my God, dude. Out. This is ridiculous. I wanted at least a three-game winning streak here. How do you not fucking hit this guy? Oh, my God, bro. What is going on right now? I can't stop this guy, and I can't fucking get a first down. Bro, that's crazy. Kids don't need it, I feel like. I don't understand why kids need it. I'm not going to rage quick because I've won, I've won two games already. So it's like I'd have to like lose three. This one's pretty enraging, but I'm not giving up. Oh, 
Oh my God, dude, what was that? First of all, how do you? First of all, how does my guy not catch it? And then how the fuck, butt fuck, does that guy catch it? It ping pongs around like, dude, what the fuck was that? You never see that shit in a game. For, how did my guy not catch the ball? First of all, that is fucking stupid as shit, dude. Every game that type of play happens to me. My guy should just catch the fucking ball. No one drops the ball like that. Here, have the ball, guys. Intercept it, you fuck ass! Dude, like, that should have been an interception. Dude, I'm gonna flip out, bro. Oh my god, dude. This is fucking horseshit. Campaigner, how yeah, was your day? What up, baby? I'm a campaigner. What? How you? Oh my God! You don't flip out. Yo, Gerald, what's up? Gerald Armstrong, the, the man that triggered me into doing a what was that like a 45 minute IQ test or personality test the other night? Gerald, what's up, man? Thank you. It looks like my little lass needs a shaving. <laughs> Pico here. You went zero for three, Joe. At least Mac Jones went two for three. The black version of Annie was so successful they're rebooting Pinocchio starring Jesse Smollett. Same pun, but when he lies his dong grows and Geppetto sucks it off oh and takes God. it up the- Jesus. I want Shell's Grundle Hole? What the fuck? Dude, I want Shell's Grundle Hole. Well, we're gonna lose this game. So let's just concede this one. Well, there's the first loss of the night. I want Shell's Grundle Hole. Thank you for the donation. Um, and also thank you to Gerald Armstrong and Crazy Horse. And oh, here comes. It's Christmas time. It's back. It's Christmas time. Gonna get the gifts. Santa's Christmas. on his way. I want to make a porn. It's, it's Christmas Santa's time. Day. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Let's get it. Christmas time, it's Christmas time, it's a Christmas song! It's Christmas time! This is a fucking Christmas song! I wanna fuck Mrs. It's Claus! Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Oh! Much love. Shell, Merry Christmas! Yeah, Leah does look kind of ghost, like a ghost there. No makeup on either, so it looks like a ghost. <laughs> Classic. Monetize this. Oh, let's do it again from Shell. And now from Konnichiwa. Komaragato. How goes that, Mas? Ed's view. It's Christmas. In Japan. Get the gifts. Santa's on his way. 
Ho, ho, ho. I wanna make a porn. It's Anna's Ho, ho, It's Christmas ho. time. It's Christmas time. Let's get it on. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. It's a yeah. Christmas song. <laughs> it's Christmas time. <laughs> Thank you, Edgeview. Thank you, guys, man. I want to fuck Mrs. Claus. It's Christmas time. Winter is coming. Winter. I, 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 gurgle, gurgle, <laughs> I, 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 get bundled. Winter. I creamed. Winter is coming. Gurgle. Edsview, thank you, dude. I'm coming, too. Edsview. Man, dude, what time is it, Edsview, over there? In Japan. Jesus Christ. What's up, man? Thank you, guys. It's good to have the Christmas dono back. What? I didn't throw the ball. I was trying to dive. Oh, my God, dude. This game is enraging, dude. I was trying to fucking dive. Why would I throw the ball? Jesus, fuck this game. Oh, my God. He fumbled the ball. Oh, my God. What the fuck is this game? Dude, what is this fucking game? Ah! Ah! What is this? Dude, what is this game? There is no way this is real right now. Fuck off. Dude, this fucking game is just fucking retarded. For no reason, my guy fumbles it. Like, no reason to fumble that ball at all. Not even close to needing to fumble that ball. This is fucking retarded, bro. This is fucking dumb. An 87 overall running back, he fumbles the ball for nothing. <clears throat> Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Just Koo? What? From the 10. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Shell. I want to take you to I want to take you to the bathroom, Shell. You want the <laughs> You wanna you wanna go to the bathroom with me, Shell? I swear to God, Shell, I'll take you to the bathroom with me. Oh yeah, gurgle. Yeah. I'll take you to the bathroom. I'll take you all the way to the bathroom. And then I'll flush the toilet on you. Yeah. Put your hand in the bathroom. Put your hand in the toilet and I'll flush my toilet on you. My bung holio will get raw. Uh I'm sorry, is this Burger World? I was just trying to order a burger. You can order I You'd like to order a bunghole? Uh, no, I thought this was Burger World. I wanted to order a burger. I will get you a bunghole. Uh, is that, I don't even see that on the menu. You can have my bunghole on the menu. My bunghole goes, rah, 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 rah. Uh, okay, well, how much does your bunghole cost? My bunghole is going to cost you. My bunghole's free, actually. It's free? My bunghole is free! For you. Okay, well, uh, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Does it come with a drink? My bunghole does not come with a drink! Shut your mouth! Rah! All right, I'll just get, I'll get a bunghole, then. You will get the almighty bunghole! The hell kind of place is this? I thought this was Burger World. 
Bunghole World. You've come to Bunghole. <laughs> Bro. Let's go. He caught it. Let's go. We're going, bro. Do you have TB for my bunghole? My bunghole needs TB. Uh, no, I don't have TB. I thought you said the burger was free. You must give me TB for my bunghole. I thought you said I was ordering a bunghole. Did you call me a bunghole? No. What the hell are you talking about, son? Do not threaten the almighty bunghole. All right, that's it, son. I want to speak to the manager. My bunghole is the manager. What the hell? All right, just give me my money back. My bunghole is not coming back to you. I'm hungry, sir. Is there anything to eat in there? You can eat my bunghole. Eat my bunghole. One bunghole coming up. All right, that's more like it. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes. This is supposed to be fast food. This is ass food. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. <laughs> Should put that on a fucking recording or something. It's pretty fire. Nice. I was hoping he'd intercept it. Fuck it. Oh, wait a minute. It sounds more like Yoda, yeah, kind of. My, my voice is all fucked up, too. My bunghole will eat now. Would you like to see my bunghole explode? I would eat from my bunghole to get polio. Uh, hey, Babeth. This guy ordered, like, a fry and a soft drink. He will order a bunghole. Uh, uh, no. I think he ordered a fry and a soft drink. He has ordered the almighty bunghole. Uh, so Beavis says that you ordered a, uh, a bunghole? Bungholeo? No, I ordered a, I ordered a fry and a shake. A soft drink. Uh, like... I think we're out of those or something. What do you have? Uh, he has a bunghole. <laughs> bunghole. What the hell did you just call me? Uh, would you like to speak with my manager? Yes, I would. Here he is. I'm the bunghole manager. <laughs> Oh, my God. My bunghole is the manager. <laughs> he will speak for all of us. <laughs> he bends over and just starts talking with his ass like Ace Ventura. <laughs> oh, what a run. Oh, what a cut. Let's go. Hey, uh, I'd like to have a big, big burger, big beef burger. Uh, you said big beef. Now, what the hell, son, I ain't done ordering, so you just wait up a second. I'm ordering for my entire family. Now, I said I'd order a beefcake burger. <laughs> I'm going to fucking pass out, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, could you like come inside because I think the speaker is not working damn it son I'm clear as day you gotta get your damn speaker fixed this thing <laughs> alright damn it alright damn it I'll come in. <laughs> son what the hell kind of <laughs> oh my god dude I can't keep it together I can't get through this uh, Mr. Anderson? Oh, my God. Fucking throw a fucking interception! Dude, what is going on, man? 
Oh, he fumbled the ball at the one yard line. He fumbled the ball. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? First of all, why did I throw an interception? Second of all, he fumbled it at the one yard line. Dicking around, trying to dance into the end zone like a dipshit. I'm a fat face dipshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fat face dipshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name's Dan Lambert. Wow. Buff coat and beaver. Ain't you the boys? Buff coat and beaver. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what. If I ever get a hand on them bastards that jacked, whacked off in my tool shed, I just love this. All right, let's get focused here. We're going to focus. Uh, uh, Beavis and Butthead, uh, uh, you haven't been in school uh, in three months. Uh, you're expelled. Uh, uh. Uh, we just came here to tell you that Beavis took a dump in your car. <laughs> uh, what the hell, you little bastards? <laughs> Didn't make Vicker sound like that? Like, uh, uh. <laughs> Man, my, my voice is fucked tonight. Oh, man. Mr. Van Dreeven likes the dick. Oh, are you serious? Dude, another interception? What the fuck, bro? In a diving play like that? Dude, this fucking game, dude. I'm about to eat someone's asshole, bro. <clears throat> Jesus. Remember when Mr. Van Driesen singing the lesbian seagull? Touch a mountain. Climb a mountain. See a mountain. Be a mountain. Oh, and he goes outside. He was flying outside the bus, dead. <laughs> Intercepted again. What is going on in this game? <clears throat> this game is fucked, dude, right now. All by myself. Shut up, diarrhea. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open. Oh, my God, dude. Another interception. This fucking game, dude, is a wreck right now. What is this game right now? <coughs> I'm sick. This is unfucking believable. I cannot believe this right now, guys. <clears throat> Where are the sluts? Oh, there'd be so many sluts, you won't know where to start. Whoa. 
Are there going to be sluts there? Oh, yes, there's going to be so many sluts. Sluts, you won't know where to start. What? Yeah. Is it a raccoon or something? What is it? I look like a ghost. That's what, yeah. That's really scary. <laughs> Are you sure it's from earlier? Yeah, because I went in and watched the video. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Fuck off! And now here is another interception. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing awake, dude? He was asleep. Oh, buddy, you got What is going on out there? Go to bed, dude. No, I got my phone. Leah just came to tell me that when I went outside earlier, it looked like I was standing in the walkway like a ghost. That's crazy. And apparently my son came downstairs and was woken up. Almighty, you want to burn something? Dude, I'm about to lose my second game in a row. I'm I'm 2 and 2 tonight. This is no good. I'm going to be 2 and 2 tonight. This is no good, everybody. Fire earlier and this is not good. Leah, everybody says hi to you by the way. Uh, Leah's starting a new show where she bashes me. It's called uh, I'm leaving Joe. <coughs> Good night, dude. Love you. This game is ridiculous. Good night, buddy. Love you. Get to bed, all right? You should got to go back to bed. It's midnight. Dude, this game is, uh, I don't even know. I guess this is probably, we're probably wrapping it up, I suppose. But I don't know. Maybe, I'll, I don't know. I don't, I didn't want to wrap it up at 12, but I mean, this is not good. Two in a row. And now I'm kicking, up, like, this is fucking stupid, dude. Blue pants is going to break. How much for a bit of Leah and Shell scissoring? Hmm. I mean, you know Leah. She don't do weird sex things. It'd have to be millions of dollars, probably. I mean, that, I mean, which is dumb, because like I would do it if I was like I'll do it now. I have no shame. Like if you offered me like. <clears throat> If you offered me, like, at, I'd probably, at this point, probably uh, wouldn't be a lot. $50,000, I'd probably swallow a guy at this point. It used to be probably 500000 Now I'd say it's 50000 So if you ever wanted to, like, get me to blow, blow you and you're a guy, like, this is the time. But I doubt Leah... That'd be wild. This is taken just shy of the ten. Go fund me. Well, let's get gay, let's get gay. I want that gay up in my face. Thank you guys. Uh, I, I, this is I'm wicked tired, bro. I almost didn't come on, but I had to I, I'm like I gotta go do something. I wanna play some football. This is my only leisure that I've done today. I caught it, and it's out of bounds, of course. But if they caught it, it would have been intercepted. Ow. Dude, if I won $50,000 right now, I, 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 oh, my God, it would be unbelievable. My whole life would change. I mean, everybody, anyone's would. 
But it wouldn't change that much because all I would do is take almost all of it and give it to all the bills and IRS. <laughs> and I'd just be like, all right, that's done with. Good. Oh. I still believe, guys. If I can get a touchdown this drive, I'll stay in this game. If I can't get one, then we're, I think we're done. Jim Cornette would suck it in a heartbeat. <coughs> a couple of years from now, Jim Cornette would probably suck me off for a heartbeat. And you'd pay taxes on that $50,000, too. That's a good point. I'd tell him to take it out when I want it. Oh, my God. It almost got intercepted again. WrestleMania 10, dude. I might go watch WrestleMania 10 now that I think about it. That sounds like a fucking great idea. Welcome to WrestleMania 10. Little Richard. I remember how sad it was when I recently watched that and realized Little Richard was lip syncing like crazy. I had no idea. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. I would have snapped, dude. Touchdown. There it is. All right, I'm staying in the game, everybody. <coughs> I'll stay in this game. Even Ezekiel thinks that my mind is gone. Does Jim Cornette actually like any more other anyone other than FTR? That's a great point. He pretty much pretty much eh, he's starting to. I feel like he's starting to come around on quite a few things a little bit. <coughs> Maybe he's hinting at getting a job. I don't know. Only good match was Brett versus Owen. Yeah, it was really Brett versus Owens. Um. No, there was some. Shawn, wait a minute, Shawn Michaels and Razor. What do you mean? Only good match was Brett and Owen. The fuck, the dude, Almighty. What are you talking about? Shawn Michaels and Razor, Brett and Owen. And it's it's kind of fun watching the narcissist and Yoko, you know, because just how ridiculous that whole thing was. <laughs> Especially since it's the previous WrestleMania. You know, they didn't even really play in the previous WrestleMania. You guys remember that? At WrestleMania 9, Lex Luger knocked out Mr. Perfect with his steel elbow. And then at WrestleMania 10, Mr. Perfect screws the narcissist, or screws Lex Luger. But no one ever brings that up. They just go, why would Mr. Perfect do this? Why did you do it, Perfect? Why would you do it? And it was like, dude, why didn't they immediately be like, dude, do you remember who screwed him last year? You know? I, and by the way, I think commentary did. I think Jerry Lawler did that. He goes, who screwed up? You know, who interfered? You know? I, I think he might have brought it up. But I don't really remember now. But it just felt like a squandered, you know, like the story was like vaguely said. Oh, my God, bro. This is fucking, uh, this is an abomination at this point, everybody. <coughs> Coon? This guy's name is what? How about Jesse Smollett, man? Remember when everybody said we were scumbags for, like, talking about how the guy faked everything? And people were like, you're a racist, you fucking racist. I heard Jesse Smollett's fucking was a targeted like, racism. Remember that? And we were like, no. There's proof that he that didn't happen. And people were like, oh, you're just a fire. And now the guy's fucking going to go to jail. It's like, you fucking people, man. This fucking country's fucked with how the media brainwashes and lies to everybody. Dude, look at CNN's lies. CNN pushes Russia Gate. That doesn't happen. CNN pushes the Covington kid who didn't do anything. He sues and wins all this money because it was a lie. 
they made up all the Rittenhouse stuff to make people think Rittenhouse was some kind of crazy fucking serial killer. Like, dude, CNN is fucking dangerous. I'm surprised this country hasn't stepped up with maybe arm arms if necessary to like stop the censorship. The, like, dude, the fucking our news media is against us. Like, I mean, I know Fox sucks too, and I know they're bad, and I know everybody's bad. But, dude, no one has done what CNN has done. This is unbelievable. And people just fucking don't even care. It's fucking crazy, dude. I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> this is fucking crazy. They're, it's not just like a little lie either. They're not just little lies or little weird things. They're perfectly, purposely pushed dangerous fucking things. Like, I mean, a minute ago everybody was racist KKK if you didn't believe Jesse Smollett. Now all of a sudden... You know, it's like, oh, actually, like, he's a fucking liar. Like, what the fuck, bro? Dude, he's a racist. This is fucked, though. No one, I mean, I know that all the other channels are bad, like MSNBC's bad, Fox is bad, but nobody holds a candle right now to CNN. Chris Cuomo pretends he has COVID in his basement, then comes out of his basement like, this is the first day I've been out of the basement in weeks. This is amazing. And then it was like four days earlier, he was outside down at the fucking, oh, 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 you know, oh, I cover up for my brother who works in New York. It's like, dude, what is going on in this country right now? How do, and it's like, you can't even, oh my God, dude, it's crazy. Ugh. <laughs> I hate Sean Hannity. Yeah, I don't like him either. I don't like any of the news people. I, the only, I like Tucker because he's funny. I like Tucker Carlson because he's funny. And sometimes, I just, I don't know, I kind of like him. He's a little weasel fuck, though, but I like him. Don Lemon's a little weasel fuck, though, too, on the left. They're all weasel fucks. They're all creepy. How, how long until Don Lemon is arrested for raping somebody or, like, molesting people? He's already molested people on camera, but, you know, they didn't file anything. But how long until Don Lemon is, like, brought up on, like, rape or something? Why am I even playing right now? It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And they've got it up. Fox and CNN are run by the same. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's all It's all designed to create their own competition. Like you got to have Fox to have CNN. You got to have the bad guy versus the good guy, right? Or or the two teams facing each other, the Crips and the Bloods. You know, it's clear as day. You know, like where's the third? Where's the, you know, where are the news stations that are in the middle or whatever? Like, you know what I mean? It's all just set up by our government. <laughs> you burn him, Almighty. Burn, baby, burn, burn, burn. That's my point, Terpa, is the lies that CNN are telling compared to Fox are off the chart right now. And, I, and I've always hated Fox, too. I'm an anti-Fox person. I've always hated Fox. I've usually been a left-wing person. But right now, Fox doesn't hold a candle to what CNN lies about. S -s 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 Super Chat Party! Randy Viper, what up, dude? Oh, yeah? A lot has gone on past few days. Dot. I'm stuck in the middle of <clears throat> a lot of stories. Dot. I just wish everyone the best of luck with everything. Crony since 2014, baby. What up, baby? I don't know. That was a very weird, ominous donation, but that's weird. What's up, Randy Viper? What's going on? What are you talking about? Are you okay? What happened? Are you talking about CNN? Ah! Randy Viper, thank you, man. What's been up? Let's get it, Randy Viper. Let's vipe up my cock, Randy. Randy Viper. Who are Randy Viper? You want Randy Viper? Randy, I'm going to put my fucking rye dick in you. Fuck. Uh, rye dick. <laughs> A lot has gone on the past few days. What is going on? What the fuck is going on? That was weirdly vague, but 
Are you talking about sports? A lot has gone on. You mean the Jizwell? I Like, I actually don't know what you're talking about, actually, now that I think about it. Like, I, I don't know. Yo! Joe, I don't care about <coughs> CNN. I'm <coughs> not American. I'm not American, yeah. No, I guess not a lot has gone on then, really. I haven't been paying too much attention to it either. I don't know. I've been just... Actually, dude, I've been working so much, I don't know what CNN's been saying. I don't know what Fox has been saying. I don't know what CNN's been saying. I don't know what they've been doing. Ah! CNN loves far Big Pharma, too. Yeah, it's very weird. Very, that's very strange. Dude, I'm losing 7 to 50. This is the worst ever, bro. Oh, man. Don't let me be the last to know. Selective science. Well, guys, what, you know, we've been talking about this for years, that science has become the new religion. Because, see, science isn't factual. Science is like, <laughs> it's like you discover stuff in science. It's like, you know what I mean? Like you're discovering shit. You're learning stuff in science. Science isn't supposed to be 100% absolute ever. It's always about finding the, the truth, you know, the, seek, the search for truth, question everything. But the science that a lot of people are doing right now isn't question everything. It's this is how it is because science, shut the fuck up. Just like religion, this is how it is. God said so, shut the fuck up. It's the same thing. It's just science has become the new religion since most people aren't religious anymore. It's fucking crazy, dude. You know? All right, that ball just sailed over his head. Yeah, Jazzy, I'm getting my ass kicked. I won two games earlier, though. You missed it. I actually won. And now I'm on my... This is a third... So I had two wins in a row, and now this is going to be my second... No, it's going to be my third loss in a row. So two wins, three losses. Not good. Not fucking good, bro. <coughs> this is not good. <coughs> You got to start watching News Hub New Zealand Lowell. Yeah, what out? Is that good? I'll check it out. I know that the Australian news has been better than ours. Australian new news has been better than American news. Dude, Fauci lied to Congress or whatever. Fauci lied about fucking the da the research shit. He lied about the mass. He lied about the fucking mandates. Fauci has lied about everything, bro. It's fucking crazy. This fucking guy's in charge, like uh, allegedly in charge of shit or whatever. This guy keeps a lot. He lied about gain of function. That's fucked up, bro. And they just fucking, he's in fucking still in power. He fucking lied like crazy. Chat party. Oh, yeah. Fauci is science. <laughs> Drew Barr, what's up, man? I, I actually gave Fauci the benefit of the doubt at the beginning. I thought maybe he was like, you know, he's listening. He's going to be the scapegoat because he's a face. Because he's the face of all this, people are going to scapegoat him as the bad guy. You know, I, I sort of said that. But after watching what he's done and going on, what is, you know, his shit, this guy fucking has lied several times. Like, he's a fucking scientist, but he lies like crazy. Like, dude, this guy's not a scientist. This guy's a puppet of the fucking... Goddamn deep state. There's no way around that. He absolutely is. I can't believe it, but he is. I'm somebody that would have said, argued against that way back when. This guy's an evil fucking puppet master. And he likes dick, dude. I, I, I swear to God, you, he, he craves cock. Fauci, like, butt pumps and craves cock. Absolutely, bro. This guy's looking for Jewish dick. That's what he's looking for. Fauci is looking for cock to blow. He doesn't want Catholic Christian ones. He wants, I don't know why. He, oh, my God. He's looking for cock all over New York. He's looking for cock. He's looking for a cock with Corona. He's fucking Fauci. And he's looking for a cock with Corona to suck on, to swallow fucking, and eat up and fucking spit it, come back in his fucking boyfriend and kids that he babysits probably. And his weird fucking Epstein Island shit that he's got in his basement. That's what he fucking does. 
Then he shoots himself up and then takes a dump on the ground and then makes fucking babies eat it in front of him before he fucking burns dogs' eyes out to test them and fucking weird gain-of-function liar fucking mongoloid wizard monster that he is. That's what he fucking is, dude. He's a fucking wizard monster, bro. This guy is a straight-up wizard monster. That's what he is. How do you fucking lie about so much shit, bro? How do you lie about so much shit, dude? Joe and chat good Christmas gifts for parents. What's up, Mr. X? I don't know. <laughs> Joe and chat good Christmas gifts for parents. I don't even have any for my mom yet. I feel awful. Dude, I, I don't even want to think about Christmas. I'm embarrassed right now about this year's Christmas. I'm in, I'm sad. I'm embarrassed. Uh, yeah. I don't even want to talk about this Christmas. <clears throat> Whoa. Well, Todd, a lot of those people that broke in weren't even just Trump supporters. They were crazy people who have been at, who have been to several rallies. I mean, they were at BLM rallies supporting BLM. So they can't be Trump supporters because they were at BLM rallies. Then they were at QAnon rallies. Then they were at the Trump ra- thing. So it's hard to say, bro. I'm sure I'm, I think most of them were Trump supporters, though. I think like 80 percent of them were. But I think like there was a lot of people that broke into that building that were not Trump supporters. They were just wackaloos. You know what I mean? Because they're at other they're at rallies. They're seen at other rallies with BLM stuff. You know, now they're at a, now they're breaking into the into the Capitol on the 6th during a Trump rally. It doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Doesn't make sense. The guy with, like, the Confederate flag hat or whatever who's like, I love Trump, that guy makes sense. I get that guy being there. You know, I get those people. But, like, it do- why, are, why are so many of those people who broke into the Capitol or just, I guess they didn't break in, they just walked in, but why were so many of them, like, weird third, like, weird, like, independent-type protester people who show up at random things at tons of random things i gotta believe it's because the fbi pays them or enables them or the cn cia does it's got to be or some company does why would they be there i'm not saying that i'm not saying that a lot of the trump supporters weren't bad some of them were you know what i mean there was like a million people who didn't do anything wrong though think about that there was a million people who did nothing wrong then there was about, you know, 10,000 people who were too crazy. And then there was probably about 1,000 people who got too intense. And then there was about 500 people who crossed uh, over some lines. And then there was probably about 200 people who trespassed, assaulted, and that sort of thing. So it's one of those things, you know. And, and most of those people, half of those people that went into the building were fucking not from a side. They were just troublemaker people. You know, it's weird. They weren't repping Trump. They were literally just crazy people. Um, it's like when Antifa does stuff, you know, at, at rallies. and like It's like BLM. When the BLM stuff happens, but then suddenly these random rogue people are lighting buildings on fire. And then if they catch the people, they're, they're white, and they don't even identify as a BLM person. They're just a crazy person who's lighting a building on fire during a BLM rally. And some people start rioting, but then some of the rioters are, like, people that don't even have anything to do with BLM. They're just not... So it's like, dude, these people are... A lot of the people that do the bad stuff are infiltrators who are just there, like, to do that. Like, it's crazy. Because most of the BLM people aren't doing anything bad. They're just protesting. And most of the Trump people were just having a rally. But there's those people that are sent in to do something, to make the party look bad or to make the group look bad or to just elevate tensions for whatever reason, dude. How can people... It's so easy to do it too, guys, right? All it takes is one instigator or a couple instigators to be in there. We saw that during the Rittenhouse shooting stuff because if Rosenbaum isn't there, nobody gets shot, right? Think about that. If Rosenbaum... The crazy guy who fucks little kids in their assholes, literally fact, 
The guy fucking fondles kids' assholes. If Rosenbaum isn't there saying the N-word, saying he's going to kill people, saying he wants to die, saying he's not afraid to go to jail, lighting a dumpster on fire, attacking Kyle Rittenhouse, if Rosenbaum is not there at that rally or at the riots, then nobody gets shot. Nobody gets shot. Because everybody else was like, cool, man, we're here to keep you safe and keep everybody safe. We just don't want the buildings to get burnt down and stuff like that. Rosenbaum is never there. No dumpster fires happen. No threats happen. And nobody gets shot. No Rosenbaum, no Kyle Rittenhouse ever. It would be ever heard of. Right? So it took, that was one guy. It took one guy, Rosenbaum, to instigate all of that. To create a scene. That's all it took. So if you, all it takes at a BLM rally is everyone at the BLM rally is doing the right thing. All it takes is one guy, probably a white guy, right? That's suspect, in a hoodie with a mask on, who runs up with a Molotov cocktail and throws it through a window and then lights something on fire, and that's all it is. And then all of a sudden the building's on fire, and then everybody else around is left to react to it, and then that guy just runs away. Like, dude, it's so clear. Like, this is being done in the country, and nobody seems to really call that out. They just seem, they go right with the narrative of, oh, blame the other side. See how dangerous this side is? This is what they do. Think about that. You'll think, if you're on the left, you think that about the right-wing people. If you're on the right, you think that about the left-wing people, and certainly Antifa and BLM and all that. So you're, you're, you're given this narrative of see how bad everybody is. And that's the goal is to make sure that everybody picks a team and picks a side because then you are justified in picking a team because if, if, they, if they have the media saying Kyle Rittenhouse killed people uh, and shot innocent people, well, then that's going to obviously create him a martyr since he didn't do that. He defended himself, and we know that. But now it looks like there's us versus them for some reason, and they just do that with everything. It's so clear. It's ridiculous. And yet none of us, nobody is really, I mean, people are standing up and I think obviously juries are standing up, you know, those guys that shot Aubrey, they went to, they're in trouble. You know, they, they shouldn't have done that. They went to jail or they're going to jail. That was the right call in my opinion for the most part. Maybe, you know, he did try to fight them. I I don't know, but they still cornered him the way they did. So like that was the right result in my opinion. The Rittenhouse trial was the right result in my opinion. And, you know, it looks like Jesse Smollett is going to be in trouble, and I hope, he, I hope he gets in trouble. And if that's the case, then it looks like the juries were right again. And at least the one thing that we know is that when it comes to us, real people, we know that we, we will do the right thing as a jury. In court of law, we'll do the right thing. CNN can make up all the bullshit they want. Fox can spin things all the way they want. The, all the news media and news things and Hollywood people can say all the fake bullshit they want. But when it comes down to the evidence and what really happened, people like you and me make the right decision. That's the thing. <clears throat> and I think and most you know, old school gamer, the reason why there wasn't an uproar is because I think a lot of the people on the right thought that those guys were guilty. I, you know, it, it, I talked to a lot of right-wing people, and they, they really thought that those guys were in trouble. They thought that it was, it was too much what they did, and they thought that what they did was wrong. So most people that I spoke to on the left and the right pretty much all agreed that the Aubrey killer got those people were going to go to jail for something, you know? I mean, that was fucked up. You know, three of you, guns, like, trapping somebody, you know. Even if he was robbed, you know, and all circumstantial type of stuff, he was trespassing. Everybody agrees. Probably was, you know, he's trespassing. That's weird. Wait a minute. Did they make a Sex in the City thing like I was talking about? Did somebody just, whoa, somebody tweeted this. Where is this? What is this? Is this real? I just saw, I saw a glimpse of something with Sarah Jessica Parker. Wait, what is this?
Damn it, I lost it. What am I what is going on? What am I looking at? Did someone in what the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh my god, they oh my god guys, they're doing it! Oh my god, dude, they're doing what I said, except it's not called Golden Girls. And just like that, a new chapter of Sex in the City. What the fuck? Are you serious? Oh my god, dude, they're doing what I was saying, that they should bring back Golden Girls and do Sex in the City. Oh my god. They should have called the Golden Girls. Oh, wow, that chick on the right is still fucking hot as fuck. Oh my god. There's no way. What the fuck? I was just talking about this the other day. Holy shit, what is going on? That is so weird, dude. I wanted it to be Golden Girls in the City, though. Not Sex in the City. But they are renaming it. They're calling it And Just Like That is what they're calling it, I guess. Or is it Or is it a new chapter in Sex in the City? Dude, this is crazy that we were just talking about this. I did not have any foreknown knowledge about this. What the fuck? Dude, that girl on the right, she's still so fucking hot on the right. God damn, is she hot. Wow. They couldn't get the, what's her face, Samantha, whatever the fuck, or whatever her real name is. Wow, man. This is crazy. They really missed out an opportunity to call it Golden Girls in the city and, and play on both shows. God damn it. Damn, man. What? Dude, I'd fuck them. <laughs> Kim Cattrall, thank you, Shell. I love Sex in the City, bro. That the show was fire. That's one of those fucking women shows that I can watch. The show was fire, dude. She dropped the toothbrush in the toilet on Seinfeld, yeah. That's so funny. That is so funny. That is wild. <laughs> all right, man. I, th I had a lot of fun tonight. Thank you all for being here, hanging out with me extra time. And just like that, Hot Flashes. <laughs> well, that's a really fucking horrible name. And just like that. Why did they call it that? Why didn't they call it, like, Mature in the City? <laughs> Geriatrics in the city. <sighs> long day, long day. Thank you guys for hanging out, hitting the like button, donating tonight. Thank you guys. I made more money on here than I did at my job today. A lot more. Actually, I made nothing at my job, so. Imagine imagine working 10 hours and you make nothing. This is so fucking devastating. Oh, man. It's actually really the opposite of this. It's like working 10 hours, making nothing. Then you come home and you're dead, tired, whatever. Then you throw on Madden and, and people donate more money than you made at that 10 hours of work. But sitting here playing a video game, it's like, but you guys funded my gas money, so thank you. And some Christmas shit. Yo, Gargots, what's up, brother? Thank you guys for supporting Jake the other night, too. That was fucking awesome. I was able to send him a big jerk off. I'm in a weird mood. I got to go to bed. I can tell that I'm fading. I'm fading. 
like Mr. Ed's asshole. How long did I stream tonight? I streamed uh, one hour and 30 minutes almost. It's pretty good. I meant to go longer, but I'm tired. Yo, thank you guys for being here. Cheers. Shell is the top dog. I brought back the 1225 donation. Thank you, Shell, for reminding me. Christmas time is back, and Shell is the top dono. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. For um, Hopefully, I'll be home in time. I don't know if I'll be home in time. I hope I am to watch AEW and review it. I hope I am. Hopefully. Yo, really mysterious. Good night. Good night, everybody else. Thanks to everyone who donated, man. Randy Viper, Drew Barr, Ed's View, Shell. I want Shell's Grundle Hole, Gerald Armstrong, Mickey K9, Crazy Horse. Uh, and I think that's I think I got everybody. Hopefully I got everybody. There's a couple Ed's view. A couple that I might have missed. Love you all. Have a good night. Hit me up. Thanks to everybody who signed back up on Patreon. And we'll get something going this weekend. Thursday, I don't know yet. Thursday we'll be doing something because I'll be I'll be around. And um Friday night is monetize this. Good night. Good night, Mr. Novak. What's up? Mr. Pico. Terp has got a big cock, I heard. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs>